Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of mechanical engineering science, which is also an aspect of structural mechanics, and we do call it strength of material also, where we want to analyze this figure. Now this figure you see before you is a beam. A beam that is supported by two different supports, which is the hinge or the pin support and the roller support. And this beam is loaded, but it has two different kind of loading that is that it is experiencing. One of those load is point load, which is 10 kN each, and the other of the load is the UDL uniformly distributed load which is spread across the beam that is 10 kN per watt per meter so every one meter is what 10 kN now we want to analyze this beam and see what the reaction is because whenever there is a load there must surely be a reaction so let's see how the support are reacting to this load now the first thing you have to do is for you to draw your free body diagram where you can transform this UDL into what into point load. Then you will now analyze. Now let's see. The free body diagram here, we'll call it FBD. Right? It's a diagram that is used to show all the external forces acting on an object. Now, when I should draw this, I'll be having something like this. If you look at this, since this is a hinge support, a hinge support has two reactions. Let's name this to be point A, and let's name where this reaction will be. We'll call it point B, or let's say here is point B, here is C, and here is what? D. Let's give this a point. So at point A, having two reactions, we'll be having a reaction acting at this point, going upward like this because it's a reaction is reacting against the load. So we're going to call it the ROAY, ROAY, meaning the reaction at point A along Y axis, and also. We have the ROA X this way coming this direction. So this is my ROA X meaning the reaction at point A along X axis. Then this is a roller support which is always having just one reaction mm -hmm. that is going in the opposite direction of the movement. So and this is it here, and that will be my arrow. B Y, right? Now, after we've done this, the next thing is, before we put our point load to avoid, or let's just put our point load. From here, we know we have a distance from this point. Let's take it up a little bit. We have distance from this point to this point here, right? And we know that this is here and this is here. At the distance of this, this is point 0.2. And this is another point 0.2 here. So this is what we're having. Right? So this is 2 meter. This is another what? 3 meter. This is another what? 2 meter. And the force is acting at this point. Here, that is for 10, and at this point, that is for 10 also, right? So, this is the force of 10 kN, that is another force of 10 kN. Now, we said for the UDL, we want to convert it to point load so it will be easier for us to analyze. It says every 10 kilo, every one meter is worth 10 kN. So from point A here, right, 
to point B is 2 meter. So it means 2 times 10, that is 20. But the difference is that the 20 will not be acting in the middle of what? Of 2. Half the distance. So we write the 20 kN on it. We multiply 10 times what? The distance 2. That means from here to here is 1 point, that is 1 meter. And from here to here is also 1 meter. Right? So if I should do that, that's what we have. So I can just do this this way to make our work more easier. So at this distance here, we say this is one meter. Right? So distance between them is one meter. That is one. Now, this is our point C. Let's not make that mistake. Point C. Then this is B. And this is what? D. So at point between C and D, we have 3 meter acting. So we say 1 meter is 10 kN. So 10 times this 3 is what? 30. So 30 will be acting at the center of this 3. 30 will be acting at the center of the 3. Here. Yeah. So we'll put it this way. All right, 30 kilonewton. Right. Now I will just put this this way. Extend this to this point. So at the center here, we have this. So it means here will be 1.5 meter. Here also will be 1.5 meter. So that is for that. Now the next one, the same thing, 10 times the distance 2 will be acting at the center. So that will also be what? 20 kN. So I'm going to come here and put it at the center of it. So this will be 20 kN acting at the center of this 2. 2 at the center here. This will be one point, that is one meter, and another one meter. So, this is what we have. When you convert this point load, this end beam, this will be L into point load. Now, the next thing we have to do, let's move up. We need to calculate for what? For the reaction. So, for each calculate the reaction, you need your condition for what? Equilibrium. So, I'm going to write. Calculating for reaction. We use the condition for equilibrium and there are three of them. The first one is telling us that the summation of all the horizontal components Fx is equal to what? Zero. But our condition is that we are going to consider we we'll consider any force acting towards the right to be positive and any force acting towards the left is what is negative so if you look at this figure here we only have one horizontal component which is what arrow x so that means that my arrow ax is equal to what zero we are done for that now the next one is we are going to look for this next condition, which is summation of what? E f of y. Summation of f of y, that is addition of all the vertical components, equals to what? Zero. Where we are going to consider, we we'll consider upward force to be what? Positive, and downward force to be what? Negative. Now, if you look at this, we have a lot of vertical force here. And they are seven in number. We have two upward force and five downward force, right? So since the force are facing upward, they say we are positive. They are positive. So we say that arrow a y, which is positive, plus arrow b y, which is also positive, right? Then we start with this. Since they are facing down, they are all negative. So to be minus twenty minus 10 minus 30 
minus 10 minus 20 each and every one of them equals to what zero now this will not mean that from here it means that my ROAY plus ROBY if you add all of them 20 plus 10 30 plus 30 60 plus 30 90 so we have minus what 90 equals to what zero now if my nine my negative 90 should come to this side become positive so i'll say that the ROAY plus ROBY is equals to what 90 kilo newton i will term it equation what equation one now the third condition for equilibrium is that what summation of moments about any points i'm choosing point a so i'll put some point a here equals to what zero now i am going to consider now consider clockwise moment to be what positive and anti-clockwise moment to be what negative right so let's see i will use this to give you analysis i have my clock here that has 12 6 3 and 9 so we'll see what meaning to be clockwise or anti-clockwise here we know moment is force times perpendicular distance so since i'm taking moment about point a it means that point a will not be used but point a will be nothing less than what a reference point so if i say moment at a means force times what distance to point a so this is 20 20 newton 20 kilo newton is going towards this direction towards a so distance of 20 from a is what one meter so it will be 20 times 1 right so we have 20 times what times 1 plus if you look at it's going the other way that means it's going this direction that we call it clockwise and it's positive the next one too is following the same procedure and that is 10 10 is also doing the same thing going towards a and distance from point from 10 to a is what one plus one and that is two meters so it will be 10 times two so we'll go there and we'll say 10 times two 10 times two plus the next one is this it's 30 30 is going towards here distance from 30 to point a is what one plus one is two plus one point five that is two point five so we're having 2.5 there so let's input it so this will be um, 30 times 2.5 now the next one is 10 right 10 is coming the same direction and that will be 10 times this is 1.5 plus 1.5 that is 3 4 and 5 so that will be 5 meter so distance from there is 10 times 5 and that will be 5 meter. We have plus what? 10 times 5. So, the next one will be 20. Come in this direction. Right? So, it will be 20 times distance from here to here. And that is 6. So, 20 times 6. So, let's go there. And input 20 times 6 right then plus the next one is this arrow b y that is going in this direction going towards a so and when it goes like this this direction we say that what is negative so negative arrow b y times the entire distance which is what seven so minus minus arrow b y times 7 equals to what? 0. Now, we'll do the summation of moments 
Now what we'll do is we'll start putting our value. 20 times 1 is 20. Right? 20 times 1 there is what? 20 plus 2 times 10 is what? 20 plus 2.5 times 3.5 times 30 is what? We have in so this is 3.5 here times 30 and that will give us 105 plus 10 times 5 is what? 50 plus 6 times 20 is 120 then minus 7 arrow by equals to 0 now when you add everything all together here you'll be having 315 315 right minus 7 arrow b y equals to what 0 if i take it to this side it will have 315 is equals to 7 arrow b y now if you divide both sides by 7 we we'll say that 315 all over what 7 is equals to 7 arrow b y all over what 7 right so from here this we quit this we will now say that my arrow b y is equals to what 45 kilo newton that is arrow b y now the next thing we'll do we need to put arrow b y also this arrow b y in equation one so i'm going to put it this way that Substitute, substitute, ROBY equals to 45 kilonewton into equation 1. So equation 1 here is ROAY plus ROY is equals to 90. So I'll put it there that ROAY plus ROBY is equals to what? 90. So it means that my ROAY plus 45 is equals to what? 90. ROAY is equals to 19 minus what? 45. And my ROAY will give me what? ROAY is going to give me 45 kilonewton. So both ROAY and ROBY are what? 45 kilonewton. So I'll write it here. ROAY is what? 45 kilonewton. And ROBY is equal to what? 45 kilonewton. So I have successfully calculated for my reaction. I will know ROAX here is equal to what? Zero, which is just there. Now the next thing we'll do here is we've calculated for our reaction that is where we we'll stop on the normal base if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching